Hey buddy, looks into swirl here. I have just gotten a new mold I'm really excited about. So we're gonna try it out. <laughs> we're gonna try it out in, in parts because it's uh, pretty deep in terms of the resin. Uh, <laughs> it becomes a bowl. Uh, but this section here around the rim is pretty deep. So I am going to pour this uh, half today, half tomorrow, and then we'll demold for the big reveal. Uh, before, before I start pouring any resin into it, I am going to paint chromes into it and micas uh, to get some sparkle. And then I will mix up, it, it takes about six ounces of resin, so I'm going to mix up three this time around and then three tomorrow to top it off. Um, and then we'll unmold it and see what we have. So you've seen me do this before. I have this absolutely wonderful... Oh, that's rose gold. I don't want that. Hang on. This is wonderful, but this isn't the color I was going for. Okay, I have a Crafter's Choice Super Sparkle Light Gold Mica Powder. That's what I want to use. And I'm also going to use Chrome Red and Chrome Black. Now this is, <laughs> this is the actual Chrome Black. I had received a Chrome Black previously, and it turned out to be um, mislabeled Chrome silver so i actually have two chrome silvers now which is cool i mean i love it uh, but now i have a, a chrome black as well so that's wonderful i will list all of my resources for these things below i'm going to start with the gold and i'm going to go to the red next and then the black and then i will mix up the resin and pour it in most of this will be fast forwarded i will be using ks resin probably the liquid stone because there's nothing i'm not going to drop alcohol inks into this or anything all right, now I'll try and keep my head out of the way. I'll try. Can't promise anything. Okay, so now I'm gonna get in my gear, mix up four ounces of resin because I need an ounce for a tumbler job over there, and three ounces for this. Into the resin I will mix um, black alcohol ink and a little bit of Ebenhawk Ultra Fine holographic black glitter that I have from bulkglitters.com and we'll see what happens. Well, we'll come back again for the second pour and then we'll get to see everything when I unmold it. Stay tuned.
Hey, we're back. Uh, nothing very exciting has happened yet. We poured the first batch of resin. It did not overheat and bubble over anything. It looks like it's in good shape. So I'm going to mix up a second batch now. I changed my mind after I told you what I was going to do yesterday for this. I decided that because I don't know how this is going to turn out, I've never done one of these before, I left the resin clear and all I did was add my usual rainbow alcohol ink for a little bit of sparkle. So we will see what effect the micas have on clear and then I'll know better whether I want to color the resin next time because I'm definitely making more of these. <laughs> these are so cool looking. Just wait. So anyway, all you're going to see me do here is I'm going to mix up six ounces tonight um, because I need three, maybe four for this and then two for a couple tumblers I'm doing. I am going to use the art resin because one of the tumblers I'm doing requires a lot of time and work <laughs> with alcohol inks and stuff. So I need an, the art resin because it has a 45 minute working time, even though I just intend to pour resin in here and be done for the this project and um, put resin on this tumbler and then be done with that. I, I have work to do on this one, so that's why I picked the art resin for this project. Uh, so you're gonna watch me pour resin in there. I'm also gonna add the alcohol ink rainbow sparkles to it. And I'll cover, I'll, I'll spritz it with alcohol to get rid of the bubbles on the very top because that won't affect anything. There's not going to be a design on the What will be the base of the piece is the top here. So I'll just spritz some alcohol on it to get rid of the bubbles. That's easier than trying to shoot my heat gun at it a bunch of times. Basically, that's what you're going to see. And then we'll, the next thing you see after this will be the unmolding tomorrow. So here we go. And we're back. Let's see how our bowl turned out. This may, this may take some work. In spite of um, spraying this with alcohol before I put the protector tent over it, uh, it, it does have bubbles. This was art resin because I needed to have lots of working time for a tumbler I was doing, so I used art resin for all my projects last night, and unfortunately, art resin has a lot of, KS, KS art resin has a lot of bubble issues. So even though I heat, I did heat gun it, and I also spritzed it with alcohol, I got bubbles, which is unfortunate. But I just, just wanted to warn you, that is one thing that happens with KS art resin. Okay, here we go. It's kind of, hey, oh, look at that. Look at that. Yes, it can be used as an ashtray, but it can also be a trinket bowl. It can be put on your witch's altar. <laughs> it is good for a lot of things. Oh my gosh, that is so flipping cool. Look at that with the gold on it and then the red skull and the black. I'm in love. All right, so I think the next one I do, I will probably use some gold. And by some gold, I mean one of my gold micas, this one or maybe the rose gold, all the way around in here, maybe a white mica, maybe even a glow in the dark powder here on this. And then I will color all the resin black that I pour in. So it'll come out gold, glow in the dark white, and then the whole thing will be black. Oh man, that would be so cool. What do you think, folks? 
Have you used this mold? It's available on Amazon. I will link to everything below as promised. Very, very, very cool. I love it. I absolutely love it. Thanks everyone. Stay safe. I'll see you in the next video.